Hey folks, Glenn here, and rather than this time giving you a Photoshop tip, I wanted to give you a little bit of a tip when photographing physiques, like this guy we've got in front of us here, Nigel St. Louis. Now this picture was taken at my recent Art of Physique Photography workshop, and the things we covered in that was all kinds of things like the lighting and the posing. And the one thing I want to tell you about the posing is how you can get the abs to look that much, much better. Now Nigel said when he turned up on the day that he wasn't in the best condition, but I, I beg to differ, he, he looked absolutely superb. But the techniques you can help these people to look even better, this one is so simple it sounds kind of crazy, but basically what you get them to do, when you're posing, you can see on this video now that we're playing, when they're stood there in their position, get your model to blow all the way out so they get rid of all the air inside of them. And then when they can't blow out anymore, give a real big cough. And when they do that, that gets rid of all that excess air that's left, the abdominals tighten up, but here's the thing, the minute you start taking the photos, and probably made about three or four photographs before they collapse because they're holding their breath, but just when you get into about two and three photographs in, the abdominals are getting tighter and tighter and tighter, and they actually look even better. But obviously, just be conscious that when you're doing this, not to get them to hold the breath for too long. But that's just a really, really simple technique, and it's one that I was taught when I used to be a competitive bodybuilder, and a great, great friend of mine called Sean O'Reilly taught me how to get my abdominals to look the best, and it just works a treat, as you can see in Nigel here. So there's just one tip when you're photographing muscular physiques. I'll see you next time.